When you're anxious, one of the best things to do is to slow down and focus on your breath. But what about when you're so anxious or stressed that regular breathing exercises don't seem to work? In today's video, I'll teach you a simple but effective exercise that brings in more of your senses to help cut through the anxiety so you can be calm and focused in the present moment. I'm Dr. Judd Brewer, addiction psychiatrist and neuroscientist specializing in anxiety and habit change. Let's dive right in. In previous videos, I've suggested that people try taking a few mindful breaths or grounding themselves by bringing their awareness to their feet when stress is starting to ramp up or they're really feeling anxious. The feet are a great grounding to keep you in the present moment because our feet aren't the place where we feel or hold anxiety. When we're stressed or anxious, these show up in our chest, our shoulders, our jaw, and even in the muscles around our eyes. Yet if you're really stressed or anxious, even paying attention to your feet can feel a bit challenging. Let's talk about why, and then I'll show you a short breathing exercise that's especially good for kids that can also help us as adults stay grounded. First, some science. There's a part of your prefrontal cortex, that thinking and planning part of your brain, called the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, or DLPFC for short. It's toward the front and to the side of your brain, roughly here and here. The DLPFC has been shown to be important for working memory, the part of short-term memory that's concerned with immediate conscious perceptual and linguistic processing. Basically, it holds information for you to use right now. For example, if someone tells you a phone number and you repeat it to yourself so you can hold it in mind long enough to dial that number, that's the DLPFC. Or you have a few items you're trying to remember to pick up at the grocery store in the next few minutes, you've got to remember those. That's also the DLPFC holding those in mind. Have you noticed that it's harder to remember these types of things when you're stressed or when you're anxious? This may be in part due to that memory space is limited in your brain. You can think of your DLPFC as being analogous to the random access memory or RAM of your computer. If your computer has a lot of RAM, you can run a bunch of programs at the same time. If it doesn't have that much RAM, it gets slower each time you use a new app and use that space up, signaled by that spinning wheel of, hey, you're overtaxing me right now on your computer screen. And eventually your computer crashes if you keep pushing it. Your brain is similar. The DLPFC can only hold so much information in working memory. If you're really worried about something, that worry thinking takes up space so that it's harder to remember your grocery list or what someone just said a few minutes ago on a conference call. So how can you free up that space to get your brain working more effectively? I've mentioned before that mindfulness practices can help get your thinking brain back online. But sometimes this can be really challenging. You bring your awareness to your breath or your feet for a few moments, but because your working memory has been really filled with worry thoughts, this can feel forced or not enough to help your mind and body, as in your brain and physiology, calm down. So here's a little trick you can play with to reboot that RAM in your brain. I love this because you can use the excuse of teaching it to your kids and practicing it with them, but it really works for all ages. It's called the five finger breathing. Let's do it together and then I'll tell you how it works. Start by placing the index finger of one hand on the outside of your pinky on the other hand. As you breathe in, trace up the outside of your pinky. As you breathe out, trace down the inside of your pinky. As you breathe in, trace up the outside of your ring finger. As you breathe out, trace down the inside of your ring finger. As you breathe in, trace up the outside of your middle finger. As you breathe out, trace down the inside of your middle finger. You can continue this as you trace your entire hand, and then you can reverse the process going from your thumb to your pinky. What's it like even if you trace a few fingers? Better than getting caught up in worry, no? Five finger breathing is great because it brings several of your senses together at the same time. You watch and feel your fingers at the same time that you're paying attention to your breath. This is not only multi-sensory, seeing and feeling, but it requires awareness of multiple locations as well. You're feeling two of your fingers, one on each hand, and your breath at the same time. This takes a lot of your brain's RAM to do, perhaps enough that it crowds out those worry thoughts. 
If you only pay attention to your breath, those worry thoughts can still be pretty loud in taking up that memory. If you use up all that RAM with multi-sensory and multi-location awareness, you might forget what you were worrying about for a moment. And as you do this for a minute or so, you also calm your physiology down so that if those thoughts come back in, they aren't as convincing because they don't have the same emotional tone. Without that arousal, they have less weight behind them and are easier to let go or simply see as thoughts instead of something that you have to act on right now, even if the acting is only the act of worrying. Remember my previous video about worrying being our brain's way of doing at least something when we can't really do anything about a situation? So if you have kids, teach them five finger breathing. Then practice this as a family. You can do this before each meal, before nap time or bed, or at other discrete transition points in the day. And if you notice that you're starting to get worked up sometime during the day, take a moment to tell them how you're feeling. Oh, I'm feeling a little stressed right now. Then ask them for their help, which empowers them and helps them feel in control. Hey, can you help me calm down by leading me in a five finger breathing exercise? If you don't have kids, no worries. Let your inner kid help out and guide it yourself. Let's finish with a page from the book, The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. What is the bravest thing you've ever said, asked the boy. Help, said the horse. So see if you can ask for help when you need it today, maybe from your kids or even from yourself. See if five finger breathing can help you reset your physiology so you can keep your working memory working and your thinking brain thinking. Onward, together, we'll see you tomorrow. If there are topics you'd like me to cover, post them in the comments section below or tag me on Twitter at Judd Brewer. Subscribe to this channel to get updated when I post new videos and please share this video with anyone who you think might benefit. Thank you.